This is called Good Friday? The question mark. It's often puzzled me why anyone would describe the day that God died as good. Okay, maybe for my theological purists in the room, let's say God didn't exactly die, just his perfect, innocent, beautiful lamb of a human self-expression on earth. But Splitting hairs if you ask me, but thanks for keeping us in line. Also, thanks for making it seem less good. I digress. But even applying the most transactional interpretations of Scripture, the day the rent comes due has never felt like a good one, even if you live on 60 acres by the sea. So good? I'd like to make an observation. I'm an avid fan of all types of fiction, and over the years I've noticed that it's never the strength of a character that endears me to my favorites. Laser eyes, x-ray vision, and flight, they make Superman exciting, but not interesting. The real reason popular culture has obsessed over him since 1938 isn't because he's strong. Nope, it's because of his one great weakness, Lois Lane. See, his powers perpetually place the person he loves in jeopardy, and that makes him weak. It also makes him believable, accessible, and even lovable. Maybe it's our yellow son that gives kal his abilities, but Lois is the only reason any of us give a darn about him almost a century after his introduction. She's his kryptonite. See what I did there. And she's always been his only real superpower, because it's his weakness that gives us access to him. His weakness is the door into his story. Otherwise, he's just a program running in the background, as inhuman as the elements themselves, and we're just ants in his arboretum. Without Lois, Superman is dead on the page. Do you see where I'm going with this? God has been alive and active and powerful for eons, even before eternity itself, I guess. But on Good Friday, God didn't just die. It was also the moment... He began to actually, in one sense, truly exist. The moment God died the way we die, all of a sudden he could be alive in a way that actually mattered to cosmic bugs like you and me. No longer just a pagan-style tit-for-tat means to an end little g-god, but an actual companion through the great painful mysteries of life. If there's any confusion here, let me shoot straight. I have little use for an all-powerful deity who chooses to experience the brutality of his world from a box seat with a bag of chips and a tall boy. I just don't know how to justify the God who'd force me to watch my... my sweetest Aunt Barbara die of cancer. Or my most joyfully boisterous, larger-than-life friend Larry waste away in a hospital bed or allow me to have so many wordless conversations with people I love who live with the ghosts of their lost children. There is almost zero chance I can have a meaningful relationship with a God like that. Sure, I can bend the knee and say the magic words, I can sign on the dotted line, I can pray, I can serve. Maybe this God could even be my Lord, but not my Savior, because we could never be friends. Unless, unless there would be one who was willing to step down from the stars, descend the stairs of his penthouse and fellowship with our sufferings. I can love a God like that, because while I can only make deals with the one who heals, I can actually give my heart to one who feels my wounds. And this is what I truly believe. God must be all-powerful, expressly because he also must bear the weight of all the suffering that has ever transpired. I'm sure... This has got to make him the most joyful and sorrowful being in the multiverse. The God who hangs between the earth and the sky, taking responsibility for all of it, the whole thing, our successes and failures, pain and elation, honor and humiliation, love and loss, absorbing it into his God flesh right there at the intersection of all things, appropriately upon a cross. Certainly this is who he's always been, God has always loved us, but in Jesus, the strength of his weakness, we can now fully love him back. And maybe that's why this ugliest of days is also good, because Jesus redeemed the whole world on Sunday, but on Friday, he kind of redeemed God.